Hello there. Now, I'm sure if you play Rust, you've seen that the developers have removed some of the building features in the game. Which means some of the best bunkers from the game have been removed, sadly. Now, I was not a very big fan of this, as many other people weren't either. This was until I found this bunker, which I had used before, and it still worked. Just before we start, 98.5% of you are not subscribed, so if you wouldn't mind going down below and subscribing, it would help me out a lot. Alright, so starting at the base, you can see it's just a simple 2x2 two two with honeycomb. This is not for the bunker, this is just the design I chose to put the bunker into. So as you walk in the front door, there's three furnaces to your left. Through the armour door, we've got our window, see if anyone's door camping you. Got some drop boxes, and then the bunker itself. Now I'll remove it for now, and show you how we're going to do it later. Entering three, we've got a repair bench, research bench, and a couple of boxes with your bags, tier 3, locker, and TC with boxes. And that is essentially the whole base. It's really small. I just wanted to show you the bunker, to be honest. So how we do it is we place a square foundation on the floor. And then we place a roof tile. And just upgrade that to whatever you want. Now the bunker works as the roof tile can't connect to any of the foundations around it. We can see from here that it's fully sealed off and when you remove the foundation underneath the roof it should get rid of the bunker. Just quickly before we get into the build, just to show you the bunker doesn't have any exploits, I'm going to use a mix of explo, molotovs, grenades and rockets just to show you the, the twig can't be shot out and the raiders do have to get rid of the sheet metal. Start the build, two raised square foundations for the starter. We're going to wall this all in and place the double door frame. Make sure your TC is right in the corner. And I'm going to place the second wall frame and upgrade them to sheet. You don't have to do it straight away, but you will have to at some point to fit all the boxes in. My first box placement here isn't great. So you'll see in a minute, I remove it. Because you want this box to be right up against the wall. And again, placing the door before these boxes just makes life easier. We're just going to build a quick shelf here. and then connect it into our TC room. Up here we can fit two more boxes. And then one more small box. So 
So next, we're placing this long box here. I did place the other box wrong again. As you'll see, this lock is meant to fit in between, but it doesn't. So you just got to make sure the box closest to the 2C is as far back as you can possibly get it. I do it wrong here twice, just before getting it right the first time. And you should see, there's a lot more space when you place that box for the locker. Next to that, we're going to place our tier 3, or just any tier of workbench you have. Trying to fit a small box underneath it as well. We're going to expand out another square and wall it in as well. Now, we're going to place a temporary foundation down here. One raised triangle. So we're going to put our low triangle foundation. Uh, one and a half wall on top. Then we're going to put our door frame and the wall. That wall there, you can just put a window in there instead. If you stick around to the end, you'll see what I mean. I make a quick mistake here of placing the half wall on the other side. It should be on the side closest to your car. Although this doesn't really matter and it just means you can place the drop boxes outside of the bunker. We're next gonna add some bags in. I would advise placing these after rather than now, as you'll see there's not enough room for the research bench. So I do have to remove them quite quickly. Place the research bench as close as you can to your workbench and you should be able to fit this in here. Place your large box and two small boxes. It does eventually work, you just have to wiggle it about quite a bit. And then next we're going to replace our bags. And after replacing the bags, that's the car done. We're going to move on to the bunker next. So just try it out by placing a low foundation here, and then a roof piece. Upgrade the roof piece to your desired material. And then once you're ready, just grab anything to get rid of the twig. And in theory, the sheet should go. If this happens, you've done the bunker correctly. I'm just going to show you once again how to do it. And there we go. We're next going to do the drop boxes. I'm going to start by putting a garage door on them. Now here, you're going to want to place the boxes first, then the barbecue, and then the small box inside. This means you should be able to fit this second box here. And then once you've done that, we're going to place both barbecues either side with a small box underneath. Just make sure they're right in the corners or you won't be able to place it. And there we go, that's the drop is done. I'm going to add my armoured door here. And then we're going to make our airlock and our furnace area. Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. That's the majority of the base done. All that's left to do is add our honeycomb. I'm just going to add a basic design of three triangles on every square. And then we've got a choice of two roofs. You can do the simple half wall roof. This design's a little bit cheaper and it's a bit simpler. However, I prefer the roof tile design as I just think it looks cooler. Now you may be thinking to yourself that the base looks very familiar as Lucky Llama made quite a similar design but I wasn't sure if that bunker still worked in this new update. I'll link his video down below anyway as I got inspiration from the roof design. And there we go. That's the majority of the base finished. All we've got to do now is upgrade some of it to sheet metal. I'm just going to show you, if you want to add a window, I would place it here. And there's two different designs you can go for again. There is the glass window and the embrasure. The pros to this is you can remove the glass and shoot outside. But the cons is other players and grubs can ladder up, look inside your base and see where your bunker is. So instead of this design, what I usually do is just place the glass with some shutters. Because it still ensures you can look outside, but when other players want to look inside your base, they can't. And that's the whole base. I really hope you enjoyed and you use this bunker design. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later.